Tonight, federal investigators are going after a local smoke shop where synthetic drugs were sold. Recently, a local teen was killed after using those drugs. Two investigator Dave Savini is live outside the Westfield shopping mall in Aurora tonight with this story. Dave. Behind me is the entrance to the mall where Max Dobner bought the synthetic drug that killed him. And now the feds are taking action. It's, you know, there's no way to describe what it's like to lose a son like Max. Karen Dobner's 19 year old son, Max, died after smoking a product called Iaroma, a form of synthetic marijuana. He phoned his brother and said he was, quote, freaking out before driving a car into this home in North Aurora in 2011. Tonight, the smoke shop owner who sold it to him, Ruby Motion, and her employee, Mohammed Khan, have been criminally charged by the U.S. Attorney's Office for selling a controlled substance right out of a store that was once located in the Fox Valley Westfield shopping mall. When I found out that they were selling drugs in the mall to kids that were extremely dangerous, I couldn't scream fast enough to the parents. Max's mom has led the charge to have synthetic drug sellers shut down and criminally prosecuted. She believes this case by the feds to go after a smoke shop owner will send a message to other tobacco shops. The pain is still real. The two investigators went undercover in 2011 to show the continued sale of Iaroma at the shop. Around the same time, authorities were also making undercover buys at the store, building a case that was unveiled tonight. Karen Dotmer says she also hopes the manufacturers of these synthetic drugs are also eventually charged. Live in Aurora, Dave Savini, CBS2 Investigators. All right, Dave, thank you.